again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation, part three of the Log Cabin Filet Blanket. And we are on row 21. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a good one. And let's hop right in and get this party started. All right, so for row 21, start off as per usual by chaining up three and you are in luck because we're going to start with what i call a mirror row so all of the stitching that we're going to be doing is following suit with what we did on the previous row eyelets over the eyelets and doubles over the doubles so you, you guys you, you guys have it easy all right so after chaining up three going into that first double there with a double there we are. And then four more doubles for a total of five. There we go. Okay, then after doing our grouping of five, chain one, skip a stitch, and then double into the next 11 stitches. So it's just double for each double, eyelet for each eyelet. It's really easy for this row, really. And if my calculations are correct, we will be finishing this tutorial series this episode. It would be nice. Give you a sense of closure. There we go. And last one. Shaboom. All right, then after doing our grouping of 11, chain one skip a stitch, double into the next five. There we go. Then chain one, skip a stitch, and double into the next five again. And that will complete one block of our pattern. And then we're going to repeat that. There we go. So as you can see, here down and over, this is one block's worth. So we're going to scoot on ahead to the next block which means, of course, doing a an eyelet right here. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and four more for a total of five. There we go chain one, skip a stitch, and then double into the next 11. Okay, so we've got four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, then continuing right along, we need another eyelet and a grouping of five. So 
chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five stitches. And do the same thing again. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. Almost there. And last but not least, we need an eyelet at the end. So chain one, skip a stitch, and then double into the top of the last, which is the second chain from the bottom, right in there. And there you go. So as per usual, do a quick recap. So after doing your initial eyelet, it's 5, 11, 5, 5, 5, 11, 5, 5 and so on and so forth. And there you go. Row 22. Okay. Start off by chaining up three and turn and double into that second stitch. There. Okay. So I'm going to start off with a grouping of five. So Double into the next four for the total of five. That's three, four, and five. Okay. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five again. There we go. And then, after doing that, we need some eyelets. So, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next stitch, and again until we have a total of four eyelets. So, I've got two. And three and four. Ta -da! All right, then we need another four more doubles so that we can have a grouping of five. So that's two, three, four, and Five, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. And that will be our block. Okay, we've got three, two more, four, and five. Okay, so this is one block wide. Let's do another one together. So, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. Okay, and one more. All right, then chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. And one more. There we are. 
And then we need a grouping of four eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. And one more. All right, so I've got my four eyelets ready to go. Then we need two more groupings of five. We got this. So I already have the one stitch. I need four more. Okay, and this is three. Four and five. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. There we go. And then finish up the row by chaining one, skipping a stitch, and doubling into the top of that last double second chain from the bottom, and shaboom. Okay, so recap. We've got five, five, four eyelets, five, five. Five, five, four eyelets, five, five, etc., etc. All right, and there you go. That is the end of row 22. All right, so rows 23 and 24, very, very easy. 23, very simple. 24 is a what I call a mirror row. So it's just going to be a repeat of row 23. So let's get into it. Start off by chaining up three. Make your eyelet at the end by skipping the chain space, going into that double. And four more for a total of five doubles. And that, <laughs> that is what we're going to be doing for the entirety of the row. It's just groupings of five separated by an eyelet all the way across. And then row 24, going to be the same thing. So we've got our grouping of five, chain one, skip a stitch, grouping of five. You know, every now and then we get a little bit of a respite, so to speak, a little bit of a mental vacation, and, you know, we can let our minds wander a little bit. So I've got our five. Chain one, skip a stitch, do another five. Okay, one more. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and four more for the total of five, etc., etc., etc. Okay, getting there. Okay, one more. There. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. I don't know about you guys, but right now I have a song stuck in my head. And I'm not going to say what it is because it might then get stuck in your head, but has that ever happened to you? And you just have it playing over and over and over in your head. And it's not that it's a bad song. It's just, you know, creates a lot of mental noise. All right, so I got my five, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. 
I mean, usually it's the Muppets Manamana song, or the song that doesn't end from the Lamb Chops play along. Um, but no, this one, no, it's not that one, you know. <laughs> Okay, and we're just tooling along here. Now, the, the next row, row 24, I'm going to let you guys do that on your own. I'll get you started, but you can do the rest on your own. I have every bit of faith and confidence in you. You can do it. Now, it's really just a matter of doing the exact same thing that we're doing right now. Five doubles, eyelet. Five doubles, eyelet. Okay, one more. There we are. Chain one. Skip a stitch. Double into the next five. Pull out a little bit more yarn. There we go. Okay, I got three. Need two more. Okay, chain one. Skip a stitch. Double into the next five. And then, when you reach the end, of course, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the top of that last stitch, and there you go. So then, for row 24, chain up three, turn the work, Skip that chain space going into that double with the double. Four more doubles for the total of five. Make another eyelet and continue on in this same fashion. And like I said, I'm going to let you do that on your own. And I will meet back up with you for row 25. So just be sure that when you reach the end, to do your chain space and your double in the last stitch to create your lace edge there. So yeah, it's just groupings of five separated by eyelets. And I will see you for row 25. Be right back. Okay, row 25. All right, so from here, as per usual, I know I keep saying that, but chain up three, you know, because every row starts and ends the same way. And then skip that second space, and then going into that stitch to create your eyelet at the end. All right, so for row 25, we're going to start with a grouping of five. So I already have the one, and two, three, Four, and come on, and five. All right, so got the grouping of five doubles. Then we need seven eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip one double, chain one, skip one, double, chain one, skip one, double. How many do we have? Got five. Okay. Oh, getting there. Chain one, skip one and double. Almost had it. 
Okay. There, and then one more. Chain one, skip one, and double. There. So we have ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay, and then we need another grouping of five. So I already have the one. Two. three, four, and five, chain one, skip a stitch, and then double into the next five. And that is our first block, and then we'll do the second block. Just need two more doubles. There we go. Okay, so that is one block done. And then for the second block, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. Okay, that's three. Four and five, okay. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and we need to create those seven eyelets again. So that's one, two. By the way, I, if you guys can hear my tummy grumbling, I do apologize. It, it seems to be rather vocal at the moment. Um, perhaps I shouldn't have finished off that bag of jalapeno kettle chips. Um, they are my favorite, and they are one of my guilty pleasures in life. So, if you've never tried them before, jalapeno-flavored kettle cooked chips, they just, they, they're, uh, they rock my world. And, uh, yes, I, I do indulge. And then my tummy says, what did you just do? So if you hear the grumbling, I do apologize. Okay, so this should be seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome, we got it. All right, and then we need the two groupings of five. So we already got the one. We need four more for the five. So we got the three. Four and five, then chain one, skip a stitch, and then double into the next five. And then, of course, we get to finish up in our usual fashion by chaining one, skip a stitch, double into the top of the last stitch. And then there you go. That is the end of row 25. Quick recap. We've got grouping of five, seven eyelets, five, five. Grouping of five, seven eyelets, five, five. And there you go. So that is row 25. Row 26. All right, so row 26, by the way, before I go any further, it's actually row 26 and row 27. Well, again, they are the same thing. Uh, 27 is a mirror row of 26. So let's start off with 26. So chain up three, turn the work, and Skip that space, going into that first double with a double. And we need four more for a total of five. Nothing new about that. There we go. And then 
chain one, skip a stitch, and double into the next 17. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, and this should be 17. Let's double count. Okay, so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. Perfect. Okay, and then chain 1, skip a stitch, and double into the next 5. Okay, and that is the first block. Second block, same deal. All right, so scooting right along, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next five. Okay, we've got three, four, and five. Okay, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next 17. Okay, already have three, off to a good start. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Yep, going to double count. You know me only too well. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. Great. Okay. Then finish it up by chaining 1, skipping a stitch, doubling into the next 5. Okie dokie. And then at the very end, chain one, skip a stitch, and double into the top of that last stitch. There. Okay. And then doing a quick recap. So it is five, seventeen, five. 5, 17, 5. Now, like I said before, for row 27, it is the exact same thing. We're doing a, a mirror row. 
So you would start off by, of course, chaining up three and turning, skipping the chain space, going into that first double with a double. And yeah, you would just double the doubles and do eyelets over the eyelets all the way across, repeating what we just did for row 26. It's that simple. Okay, and then you would chain one eyelet over the eyelet. And then since I just did my five, this would be the 17 stitches. And you just keep going, doing doubles over the doubles and eyelets over the eyelets. So as always, I have faith in you. I have confidence you can do this. So finish row 27 on your own, and I will be back for row 28. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, row 28. Mm -hmm. All right. So hopping right in with a chaining up of three. There we go. And then I'm going to start with a grouping of five doubles. So double into that first double there, and then four more for a total of five. Okay, so I get two, three, four, and one more. Five, all right, and then Sorry, my, my yarn is getting a little bit tangly. All right, so then after doing our grouping of five, we need a grouping of 13 eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double in the next until we reach 13 eyelets. And that will be our block. And then we'll do it again. Nice and straightforward. Okie doke. Getting there. And also, if you look, you can see this is where our block ends. So, you know, you could always read your stitching or you can count either way. I like to do both. I'm a creature of habit. Okay, almost there if I am not mistaken. Okay, this should be 13, I believe. Let's check it out. All right, what do we got? All right, I got my grouping of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we're gonna do the same thing again. So I already have one double. I need four more for the grouping of five. So scooting right in and along, we got two, three, four, and five. And then we need the grouping of 13 eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and so forth until we reach the end. There we go, and scooch.
Okay, just a couple more. And then at the very end, do your chain one, skip a stitch, and double into top of the last. And this should be 13. Let's take a quick look. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. So, as per usual, recap. So, grouping of five. 13 eyelets, grouping of five, 13 eyelets, and there you go. That is the end of row 28. Okay, so rows 29 and row 30, again, going to be the same. 30 is a mirror row of row 29. Very, very easy. So starting right in with a chaining of three, nothing has changed there and skip the chain space, double into the first double. And then going to need another 28 doubles for a total of 29 doubles. So we're just shooting all the way across the top of the block. And as I've stated before, yeah, you can Look at your existing stitching to see where the end of the block is if you don't feel like counting. But yeah, I'm going to count. <laughs> it, it's what I do. It's how I roll. And then for row 30, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you do row 30 on your own. I will spare you because it is exactly the same thing as what I'm doing right now. Just, you know, it would be doing doubles in the doubles and eyelets over the eyelets. We're not there yet, but you'll see. You'll see. Okay, how far away are we? Well, if you look at the work... This is the main line for where the block ends, so it's over here. So we're, we're getting there. Reading my work is a trick that I have used for a long time now, and it took me a long time to get there, where I didn't necessarily need to follow the pattern intrinsically. You know, I could just sort of read the stitching to see where I was at, and then, well, go from there. You know, it makes life a lot easier. Okay, a couple more to do, and we will be golden. Okay, so this should be 29 right there. Let's double check. Okay, I've got my eyelet. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 29. All right, and then we incorporate another eyelet. So chain one skip a stitch, double into the next, and 28 more for a total of 29 until we reach the end. And then we will put an eyelet at the end as well. Nothing to it. Except for when I misapply. <laughs> My hook gets snagged. Eh, you know, it happens. Occupational hazard and all that. Put 
pull out a bit more yarn here. Okay. One of those great rows that you can just sort of get lost in thought over, you know. I never like to call it mindless stitching. I like to call it mindful stitching. And you can just sort of get lost in your own thoughts. As long as you know what you're doing, hey, have fun with it, you know. Okay, just a bunch more and we will be done. I mean, of course, I'm going to double count. That's how I roll. So let's see. Should be 29. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Three more makes 29. All right. And then finishing up the row with a chain one, skip a stitch, double into the top of the last stitch. Yes, thank you. On we go. And there you go. So that is the end of row 29. So as I said before, row 30, it's the exact same thing. So turn your work here. Chain up three and skipping the chain, going into that first double with a double and 28 more stitches for a total of 29. Do another eyelet, do another 29, etc., etc., until you reach the end of the row. So, yes, I'm going to leave you to it. I have faith in you and carry on. I will meet back up with you for row 31. I'll see you in a bit. Dun, dun, dun. Congratulations, you have reached row 31. This is the last row of the repeat. Yes, give yourself a pat on the back. Yes, this is the last row. Very, very simple. Actually, it's the same as row 16, so chain up three and turn the work and create your first eyelet skip that chain space going into the double with the double and then make eyelets all the way across it is that easy just chain one skip a stitch double into the next stitch and repeat yes rinse wash repeat And just keep doing your eyelets all the way across for the rest of the row. And that's really all there is to it. Now, for this pattern and the repeat in general, um, you would then repeat rows 2 through 31 as many times as you want. Now, I believe I alluded to this earlier that because the repeat is two blocks high, if you want an odd number of blocks, which is totally reasonable, um, if you want an odd number of blocks, you wouldn't then repeat rows 2 through 31. You would finish after doing row 16, which is another one of these eyelet rows. So you can end halfway through the repeat so that you have an odd number of blocks totally fine or if you want an even number of blocks 
for the length of your project, the height of it, then you would do the entirety of rows 2 through 31. And you just keep repeating that over and over and over again until your piece is your desired length. And there you go. So I'm just going to finish this on camera because I like talking to you. And so there are a number of, you know, things that you can do with this pattern. If you want to do a scarf, I would say one or two multiples. You know, if you want a nice wide scarf, you know, th this would be a nice width for a wide scarf. Um, considering all of the eyelets and the lacy nature and the lightweight nature of this yarn, um, I would say that two multiples wide for a scarf would be nice. If you wanted to do something perhaps a bit more substantial, like a wrap, I would say at least three multiples wide for a wrap, maybe four. And then you're getting into the width of baby blanket territory. And for my project that I did, it was a you know a simple Afghan throw type size. I did mine, it was, I believe, about five blocks wide, which for me is sufficient. And if you want to go really, really, really big, then I would say more than that, more like seven to nine blocks wide. But, you know, again, totally up to you. And of course, it does depend on your gauge and your tension. That's why I always say, do a swatch first, and then you can figure out based on the thickness of your yarn and your hook size, and you can figure out how many multiples you would need for your desired width. So, there we go. And that is row 31. Ta-da! And also, I really like how it creates its own eyelet border around the entire piece. So, there you go. So, like I said, just keep repeating rows 2 through 31, or... 2 through 16, you know, to have an odd number. And there you are. <laughs> Hope you like it. Alrighty, my dears. So that's going to conclude the Log Cabin Filet Blanket. Really hope that you liked it, and I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you did like this video, give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And in the comments section, let me know what you think of it always interested in your feedback and your comments. Love hearing from you guys. And I want to give a big old thank you to my testers for helping me make sure that this pattern worked and was all nice and kosher. And if you're interested in a copy of the pattern, check out my Etsy store. Link in the description box down below if you're interested in a copy. Well, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.